The most popular routes offered by cruise lines going through the Caribbean are basically bifurcated into the eastern and western regions of these tropical waters. Booking a Caribbean cruise but can't decide which way to go? Let's lay out the characteristics and look at the similarities and distinctions between the two directions. How they're alike. Both Eastern and Western Caribbean cruises tend to be 7 or 10 day voyages with year round bookings. However, if you want a short jaunt for a weekend getaway, 2 to 3 day voyages in either direction can be booked at considerably cheaper rates than week long trips. As one can expect, you will find sand, sea, and sunshine in either direction. Both locations have the expected sugar white beaches and gorgeous coastlines. Additionally, all ports of call are rich with island sights, sounds, and flavors. Between East and West, you'll find welcoming, friendly, and live on island time residents throughout the Caribbean. You really can't make a wrong choice if you're looking to relax. You'll also find your way in Nassau and Freeport with most cruise lines. This is often your first stop, so be sure to see Paradise Island and it will set the standard for how breathtakingly beautiful a tropical beach and surrounding waters can be. Finally, it's worth noting that both locations can have their challenges. Some locations are notorious for crowds and super long lines. That's on the east side at least. On the west, you'll often find trips to the store frustrating as they're closed due to weather and safety concerns. So flexibility is the common denominator for cruising both regions in the Caribbean. How they differ. Now let's get into what sets East and West apart when booking a Caribbean cruise. First, most ships bound for the Eastern Caribbean embark from Jacksonville, Port Canaveral, Miami, and Tampa Bay. They also sail from points up the East Coast such as Charleston, New York, and New Jersey. Going West, you'll likely head out from several Florida ports, and many often embark from New Orleans and Texas ports. The destinations for most Eastern voyages mainly include the US and British Virgin Islands, the French West Indies, San Juan, Grand Turk, St. Kitts, Antigua, St. Lucia, the Dominican Republic, and Nevis. These points lean heavily towards the beach fun activities with loads of world-class shopping and high-end eateries. On the other side, western ports of call generally include Jamaica, Grand Cayman, Costa Maya, Cuba, Belize City, Roatan, Costa Rica, Cancun, and many other points on the mainland of Mexico and Central America. Our excursions to the latter destinations are more focused on visiting sites rich with the historic significance of ancient cultures and land-based nature adventures. A third difference is how long you're out at sea. Going on the eastern side means you're spending more time at sea since it simply takes longer to reach the region, but once you are there, you jump quickly between islands due to their close proximity to each other. For the western itineraries, the ports are further apart and sailing between them takes longer in comparison. This can be a good opportunity to explore onboard activities, and today's vessels have loads of them for all interests. Lastly, let's talk about after sunset. There is a distinct difference between the nightlife in the eastern and western ports of call. While both have pubs, clubs, and casinos, the distinction lies in the ready availability and scale. For the high-end action, glitz, and glamour, most would agree that these after-sunset activities are more easily pursued in the eastern itinerary ports of call. All this was a basic guide to get you started on a voyage of discovery for planning your next tropical cruise. Keep in mind that these suggestions are presented in general terms. Feel free to swing by our site to help plan and book your next cruise vacation. We have tons of great cruise tips, suggestions, and great offers to have the time of your life. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe.